my name is Gappa, the fitness supervisor at the South Barrington Club, and today is Workout Wednesdays. I have Jake with me, our athletic supervisor, and we are going to show you how to do the proper plank. And then from there, we're going to move on to some variations of it so that you don't always have to be stuck with that just boring straight plank. We'll show you some options and some fun stuff. So Jake's going to come down and first we're going to demonstrate the proper plank. And so Jake's got his shoulders and his elbows and wrists on alignment. You can, you can have your hands in or out, either one's proper. He's in a nice straight line. He's not letting the body sag. He's not raising his hips up, which is very common that you see when you're not strong enough to do a plank. Raise your hips up a little bit, Jake. You start to do this. So you want to keep everything nice, straight, straight line from shoulder to heels, like he's got here. You want to draw the abs in nice and tight, keep those strong, relax, don't hold your breath, natural breathing. So this is your proper plank. Now Jake's going to demonstrate some fun options, take it up a notch. The first one is, is just kind of call it, there's no specific name, it's just an out, out, in, in. And so it's a little bit of a fly, it's a little bit of hopping to it. So we would be taking it up a notch from a basic plank. So go ahead and demonstrate the first version of that. We'll take the out, out, and hop back in. Do that one more time, Jake. And so now if you want to take that to a more advanced level, to a full hop, hop, it's going to hop out and hop back in. Good. One more. And you can start with a couple of those and then maybe work up to about 10. Um, that would be a great start and just from there build it because they are, that particular one is pretty intense. And then working with some equipment, if you have a ball, a Boju ball, or a round stability ball at home, either one will work. Um, and Jake's going to show you the more difficult way, if you have a Boju ball at home, is to reverse it with the flat side up. That makes it even more unstable. The other side will be more beginner, and he'll quickly show you that in case you want to start out a little more, a little more slowly. And he's just going to do his plank on there. And again, once again, creating a little more instability makes your core engage more, makes it a little harder than when you're on the floor. And you can raise a leg on this one and do an alternate leg breath lift, making sure that he's staying nice and straight. He's not letting those hips go up. Great. And now we're going to flip that Boju ball over. And if you have a round stability ball, you can do the same exact thing on that. And this is going to take it up a notch. This one's a little bit harder. So again, he's maintaining a nice straight form. Now just this here is very challenging without any movement. But again, if you want to take it up to more advanced level, you could do a leg lift like you did before. Good. And you can go to the side. Much more challenging is to do a side plank taking it over. This one is definitely advanced. And then you could take that down and you could switch sides. You can hold it a little longer if you want an extra challenge. He's also got his feet stacked, so that's harder. If you stagger your feet, that's a more modified position. And then the last one we're going to show you without equipment is a running plank. So this is more of a, it's a plank that you're going to get that core work, but you're also going to, get, you're going to get some cardio work with it too. So the last one is a running plank, and you do a full arm position. Looks like a mountain climber, but you've got to keep that body nice and straight. So go ahead and demonstrate that, Jake. And now if you want to slow it down a little bit, a little more modified, just bring your knee in. Good. And then the last one we're going to show you, if I lied, that wasn't the last one, <laughs> is an alternate knee and a hand tap. This is just kind of a fun one that doesn't really have a name. A lot of um, athletes do this one, so go ahead and, and demonstrate that one. All right. Good. And a tap. And a tap. One more time. Knee in. Knee in. Tap. Tap. You can maintain a nice straight line throughout it. And that's our workout tip for Wednesday. Thanks for watching.